very busy background. You can see my tripod, the drawers open on my sewing machine table. There's plants everywhere. <laughs> Hello foxy people, um, as the insta fam knows I am quickly running out of shampoo so I wanted to make an alternative shampoo. So this is that video um, and it's for the Eco Conscious Tuesday this week so hopefully I'll get to just fiddling with stuff. Hopefully I'll get to edit this and post it tomorrow which is going to be a challenge but it's okay. Um, and I'm going to try it out tonight as you can see my hair needs a wash so I will also video that bit so that you can see the results oh it's so yuck right now I also need to treat my hair very kindly so this is also part of that what else can I tell you um, I don't know yeah I hope you enjoy the video so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to soak some rosemary and lavender in hot water and that's going to steep for two hours um, and I'm going to put the coconut into the jar with Two tablespoons of lavender. Actually, I don't think I've got two tablespoons here. Mm, two tablespoons of lavender. These are blossoms because I don't have fresh lavender to use at the moment. Okay, and then there's not much left in there, so I'm just going to use the rest of that. It smells delicious already. And then I'm just going to use these two side branches of the rosemary because I don't I'm not a big fan of rosemary I don't want to also kill my little tree okay so we're gonna fill this up and leave it for two hours to soak Oh, I wish you could smell that. So what we've got to do now is there we've got our jar of steep stuff which is turned nice and brown. We're going to strain that into here. Um, I'm using this because I don't have muslin or cheesecloth. I'm hoping some of the particles don't get through. Also hoping that it doesn't drip around it the outside of the glass which it's very likely to do yep um, let's do it on the side like that Okay, coconuts is an optional extra for this. The lavender and rosemary is really what you want to get in there. Um, and I think I'm going to try and use this for something else. Because, wow, well, waste. Maybe it'll... Oh, it smells beautiful. Julie, come smell here. Uh, okay, so now that's nice and... There's not much um, stuff floating around in there, which is great. Okay, now we're going to add two, so this is the bottle I'm going to be using, if my stop is not the right size, as you can see that one doesn't fit, and these are recycled, that one fits but it doesn't want to stay on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour into here because I think that's going to be easier to pour into here. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a half a cup and double the recipe and add, um, another half a cup of distilled water so that my shampoo can go a bit further so let's do that so we're going to go half a cup of castile soap 
Ini sportcap. That's from Nature's Craft. It's really, really thick. I didn't expect it to be that thick. I'm gonna go one teaspoon of oil. What's one teaspoon? Five moles. That's olive oil. And that's not the lid. And last but not least, 10 drops of lavender essential oil. Not that I think this needs it because it's very strong. And there we go. Oh, I didn't add the distilled water. Add another half a cup of distilled water. Okay, now you don't want to agitate this water very vigorously because it will foam and then you won't get what the desired, the desired consistency. Are you moving my camera? Ah. This is very green and pretty. I don't know if you can see the color, you won't be able to see that. So it's like a rich olive green color. It's so beautiful. So now we're going to pour that off into my bottle. I'll have to find a squeegee at a later stage. There are a few floaters, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, so that's like just under 500 moles. I think probably about uh, 400 moles. And then, that's quite a nice amount. Probably last quite a while. So this is the first time I'm making this recipe, so I will have to let you know how it goes. I'm very excited to use it though. Okay, so a few things to note. Number one is that um, the soap doesn't suds like you, 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 your usual soap. So there's no foaminess. It doesn't move through your hair as easily. So um, I used like 12 pumps to try and push it through my hair. But I think relative to a normal shampoo, it would probably cost the same. We'll see how that goes though. I will keep you guys informed. That's the other thing. So in the morning I will show you what it looks like when it's just dried. I'm not going to style it or anything, just let it dry naturally. I'm not going to put anything, no conditioner, and we'll just leave it and see how it goes. So I think you'll get a very good um, idea of what the shampoo is like. It smells amazing, it's very very nice, and it lasts, the smell lasts in your hair. morning um i look like ass but that's okay so this is the hair the next morning um i just ran my fingers through it last night to get all the knots out um and they say also i'm quite amazed because they say that <laughs> your hair is supposed to take a few washes to get rid of the old chemicals um but this is pretty so impressed with it. What do you guys think? Leave me, leave me some comments. Smell my hair, Bob. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> do you know what it is? The shampoo that I made. Yeah. And how does my hair look? Um, I. Does it look pretty today? Yeah. Does it look prettier than usual? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> So it's pretty hot out, but um, this is my hair a few hours into the day. I'm so impressed. 